YouTube, 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 YouTube. Welcome to Sage's class on how to be saucy. So I know y'all been asking for that advanced dribble tutorial. This is that's going to be the next video. I need to show y'all some of these advanced moves and how I move and how I be saucy. Cause y'all say y'all want the tutorial, so I'm gonna show y'all how these moves connect together before we get to an advanced tutorial. So welcome to Sage's class. The first thing you want to do to be saucy, to be like Sage, to dribble like Sage, you want to go find you a nice outfit so you don't look like a bum doing these dribble moves because you just not, it's not going to look right, man, if you don't look good. So the first thing you want to do is go to Squad to find you some drip, find your own kind of drip, you know what I mean? And the next thing you want to do is watch that basic dribble tutorial and master those moves. That's in that basic dribble tutorial. Because to be able to do all the stuff that I be doing with the advanced stuff or the basic stuff, you have to get down to basics, bro. You got to master those. Because if you don't, this is the advanced tutorial not going to really make that much sense to y'all. See? And you got to know how to read your opponents. Because this year, just being able to do crazy dribble moves, it doesn't work. You got to actually know how to connect the moves together. You know what I mean? You got to know what you're doing. Because it's too many bumps this year, y'all. Like you can't you can't run in front of somebody like I don't like on 2K21. You know how crazy the dribbling was on there. Current gen, not next gen. Current gen dribbling. You know how crazy that was. Just seeing Ryu post his little video on Twitter, how he was going crazy. That junk, that 21 dribbling, it was crazy, y'all. But it's not like that. It's too many bumps this year. You can't dribble like that. You can get bumped a thousand times. Hey. So you got to learn how to connect these moves so you can get everybody so you can get them away from you you see how i'm just i'm going left and right and not going forward so much and when i do go forward it's to go backwards again so i'm gonna show y'all all these moves in the next video in my advanced tutorial i already got it i already got it laid out i already got the thumbnail for it, everything i just wanted to get y'all right with this video so y'all can see how i connect everything because in the next video, it's going to be straight tutorial, straight me talking. I'm probably going to have a little hand cam in there for y'all. I'm going to just record it on my phone, you know what I mean? And just show y'all like how my fingers be moving on the controller because I still don't got the equipment for the hand cam. But you see, I'm killing three defenders all at once with these moves. You got to know when to use these moves. You got to know when it's time. You see, some people don't even guard me because they already scared. They see what I can do. I just be moving different. I don't see a lot of people dribbling like me, like when I'm in the park and I'm going against people. I don't see a lot of people dribbling like me in the park. So that's what I mean by saying I be moving different, y'all. So, so, being saucy, find your own, after you watch my video and then you watch the advanced tutorial, you gotta find your own way of moving, bro. Because you can't just copy off me and disrespect like to just be moving different. You gotta find your own lingo you know what i mean you gotta find your own way see because i just be i just be doing stuff i just go into my court y'all see i haven't posted in a month i just been in the my court for a whole month just training i haven't even been in the park for real that's why you see all these clips are in the 1v1 because i just been in the i've, I've been in the um 1v1 court yeah, and then shout out my boy unknown kind my boy tay because if it weren't for him i wouldn't have had no park game play Cause y'all realize daily don't play the game anymore. So I played the game with unknown comp and we went on like a little 10 game in the park. You know what I mean? So all you gotta do is just find your own way of dribbling. Like, I, I mean, you can copy off of Steezo if you want to. You can, you can do whatever you want, honestly. But I feel like the most effective way of dribbling is to like find your own, like set away like you can still do steez or dribble moves you know what i mean like i still do steez or dribble moves i still do dribble moves i see other people in the community do i'm not saying don't don't just don't try to copy off nobody i'm saying like you got to find your own way with it though because like if you look at coco coco got some crazy dribble moves he be dribbling nice but do coco dribble like gravy no do gravy dribble like a lonely no do a lonely dribble like Quan? No. So you see what I'm saying? Like, it's just about finding your own way. So, fuck it, even my boy Clout. Do Clout dribble like a Lonely or Quan or Gravy or Coco? No. We all got our own way, and that's what separates us. 
so when you watch these tutorials don't just try to copy off everything they do try to put those moves into your combos like the stuff you already know where the stuff you get taught you got to try to put it into your own combos because that's what's going to make that's what's going to separate you because it's not like you're going to be just driven like everybody else you're going to have to find your own way you find your own way and then you find your own combos and then that's when you become saucy because everybody be like damn maybe it might be like oh he dribbled like Steezo, so that's cool oh he dribbled like coco oh so that's cool he dribbled like a lonely oh that is cool like you know what i mean you find your own way and then you're gonna be like oh damn this nigga kind of saucy like how oh, what is he doing they ain't gonna be asking you for dribble tutorials like i when i be in wreck bro people be texting me too much I'm, hey bro you got a dribble tutorial yeah all right, yeah, I'm about to I'm about to subscribe, but you saucy or you 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 cold or some shit like that. You know what I mean? So basically, just find your own movement, bro. Copy. You can get your inspiration from other people combos, other people dribbling, but find your own movement because then it's just gonna put you in a whole different bracket. It's not gonna make you just look like oh he just dribbling like somebody else. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with dribbling like somebody else either because we a dribble community at the end of the day. You know what I mean? So we all gonna copy up each other's moves and shit like that. We all gonna get inspiration from each other. You know what I mean? But let's move on to the next subject. I feel like I've been rambling about that for a long time. The next thing you wanna do is read your opponent's moves. If see if they play you inside out or they playing you outside in. Because that's what's gonna separate you. Because you're gonna know what they doing at that point. And it's gonna let you uh, it's gonna allow you to be able to counter how they playing you. So like this dude, he just doing whatever, so I'm not really worried. But <clears throat> Y'all go back and y'all watch all the clips. You will see some people playing me inside out and some people playing me outside in. So they waiting for me to come to the rim or they waiting for me to shoot a jumper. So that's all I mean. Just read your opponent. But until then, it's me, your boy Sage. I love y'all and I'm out. Look out for that dribble tutorial that's coming out.